Hello everyone, welcome back to Creative Living with Jen and welcome if you're new. Today we are in Dollar Tree and I was ever so pleased and excited to walk through the doors and see Easter finally has arrived at my Dollar Tree. So just going to scan over this wall because this is just crazy. It is an entire wall filled with plastic eggs and baskets. That's a lot of baskets and a lot of eggs and Easter grass. So I'll just scan over and then I'm going to go through every item with you close up one on one. This just came out recently because it was not here the last time I came in and it looks like a lot of it has picked over already. So all of these eggs are back. Uh, the gold eggs. I didn't see these last year. I know they have been around, but this is the first time I'm seeing them at my location. We had lots of stickers and gel stickers. The little peeps on the sticks are back and of course all the eggs on the sticks the felt shapes these beautiful craft bunnies we had them in large we had them in smaller sizes same with the eggs the foam craft eggs in large and small and then of course all the colored ones beautiful decor this year the easter bunny picks are back and this is my first time seeing this happy easter garland not to say it hasn't been around, but just the first time I've seen it at this location. Wow, look at that hanging bead there. Only one left. These are new to me. Um, these Crafters Square carrots with the bottle brushes. Pretty clever. And then these ones I did not find last year, so I was happy to see those at this location as well and of course we have all the color your own decor sets and I am loving these ornaments they had every letter of the alphabet and look at there are bunny ears on every letter and a bushy tail I think that is adorable of course all of the big plastic eggs are back in the craft bottles we see these for every occasion All the little mini ornaments, wood cutouts. We have bunnies and chicks, eggs. And then we have this really nice thick wood in the shape of a bunny head. So much of this stuff I have not seen yet. I just can't believe it. I think Dollar Tree has done an amazing job with Easter this year. Look at that bunny butt. <gasps> and then we have all of these big pieces of wood that hang off twine. They have 3D parts that some of them stick out. I mean, that three piece of gorgeous Easter eggs. Some of them are framed. Look at this whitewash. We see the wood grain on here, pretty thick, decent quality. That's what the back looks like. Whitewash signs. Wow, that's just awesome to find that at Dollar Tree. And you know, just think of all the different possibilities. You know, half the DIY is done for you already. They had it in chick, they had it in eggs. Here are some of those thick eggs in the smaller versions. And I thought these were really nice. They were actually a two pack set. We had them in the pale pink, the lilac purple, yellow and green. No, blue, really the only color missing was green. Maybe they had them and they were sold out. I'm just going to scan the candy aisle it is absolutely loaded for now. Not a lot new and exciting. It's just pretty much the same stuff we see every year at Dollar Tree. I thought this was kind of funny. He's in a big carrot filled with mini carrots in there. All the Palmer goodies. Chocolate bunnies, chocolate eggs. Of course, they had all the Laura Secord Cadbury little mini egg packages. I don't recall seeing these before. I thought they were kind of neat if you have a little kiddo who is into dinosaurs. Look at these. Milk chocolate dino eggs. It's fun and different. The Kinder eggs. This 
So it's just a little end cap with some stuff, some ring pops. And I've showed all of these. We've gone through them before because these stuffies were out for a long time already. I didn't see any of the plush gnomes at this location, but pretty much everything else. So I'm not going to go too much through that. We'll just scan over. Here is another wall and this wall amazes me. We are going to do a close up after we scan of everything. So we do have the big plastic trays that hold your dyed eggs. And then of course, all the big plastic bunnies. I saw those last year. This is my favorite sign. I'm so glad to see it back every year of all the signs Dollar Tree's ever done. I love that one. And this is going to be popular. Look how adorable this welcome sign is with all those Easter gnomes. I'm not the biggest gnome fan, but I just think that is so cute. And these black and white signs are just so simple and perfect. If you're into the trucks, this one was gorgeous. And then let's come down and have a look at these ones. That bunny, those carrots are stunning. This is not something that looks like it came from the dollar store. Cottontail Easter egg farm. The artwork is perfect. And then these are some repeat signs, which we've seen for a few years. I thought these were neat. I didn't see them last year. They're little banners. They're pom-poms on the bottom. So you could leave them as is, but I think they would be great if you picked them up and gave them to a kiddo and let them color them. What a great gift addition that they could give to mom and dad, our grandma and grandpa, very simple for them. This was the pink pom-poms. And then they did have one with yellow pom-poms on the bottom, just trying to get to it. Here it's hidden way in the back. Of course, it has a different picture on it. All three of them are just adorable. Come up here to these signs, which are repeats. But this one I didn't see before, and it's like a little picket fence in behind. The cutting board signs are back. We have that picket fence in white as well. And these are beautiful. They're framed in wood, the gingham print in the background, and then just the simple black and white, the Easter market, bunny trail farms, the colors, just everything about these signs. Very high quality looking. I can't believe it. I was so shocked today. Lots of Easter gift tissue. We had some plaid. We had some beautiful chicks and eggs. This bunny one was so pretty, the pink and the white. All of these styrofoam eggs are back. There was not much ribbon left, so I guess that pick got picked over very quickly. But these styrofoam eggs were back with the glitter and all of those confetti tubes all over them. They had more up here as well, the blue and the yellow. Now over here we had some tins. I remember those from last year, some drinking cups, some plastic little buckets, not too many of each, but they had these metal buckets as well. Just trying to get in there. So there was this really fun print. And then they had this one with, let me just take them out so it's easier. This one with the bunnies. And then there was this one, get the camera to focus here. Cotton tail. It was just perfect, all the different sayings, the carrots. And then we did have some more tassel banners here. So these are new to me as well. Easter wishes and bunny kisses. And it has a pink tassel hanging off the bottom. The bunny kisses is in a pink foil. It's really hard to tell on camera here. We had another one with a blue a bluey green tassel hanging off of it. And the happy Easter is in blue foiled writing. And then there was one more hidden way, way in the back here. And it is a greenish colored tassel. And it says Easter egg hunt here. And the Easter egg is in pink foil. And then some more repeat signs up above there as well. 
I also wanted to let you know they have all their Easter cards out. I have not seen the handmade cards yet, but great to grab these early because the good ones go quickly. So we are going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for joining me for this Dollar Tree walkthrough. I hope you spy lots of new exciting goodies and I hope you will all come across them very soon at your locations. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and join the YouTube fun and the family. Good vibes to you all and I'll see you all again really soon.